What's up YouTube? Welcome to another uh, Ryzen overclocking video. Uh, a lot of you have been following me with my build and all my components and all that stuff and I think I'm finally done with all of my components uh, and I got my build finished so I kind of wanted to show you um, like what did I get and how far can I overclock on this system. And if we look at what's in the system we have an Asus um, Prime X370 Pro and uh, it's a Ryzen 1700 not the X version and an NZXT Kraken X62 cooler and the reason why the logo is crooked is because I wanted the tubing to go out the top um, so there's that and those are like the main components oh and another important thing is that I have uh, the radiator is mounted I don't know if you can, nope, it's not going to show, but the, the radiator is mounted in the front to allow for the most effective CPU cooling. It doesn't matter that you're blowing hot air into the case because the CPU is really the only uh, heat sensitive component inside the system. The graphics card can handle... Um, much higher temperature so that's fine and the air that comes in isn't even that hot to begin with so it's really not an issue but let's see what we got so like I said I got it to 3.95 gigahertz and here you can see the Cinebench scores that I'm achieving with that overclock and um, Let's head over into the BIOS and see what settings I use to get my Ryzen 1700 to those um, clock speeds. Alright, so on this particular motherboard you're going to find the relevant settings in the advanced menu in the AI tweaker section. And what you're looking for in my case is to set the CPU core ratio, you want to set that to 39.5 and you will want the EPU power saving mode disabled um, and then the performance bias is just for auto uh, in my case since AMD has recommended that you don't go any higher that than 1.425 volts I tried that and uh, kinda saw like how far can I go and for my particular uh, processor it shows that I max out at uh, 3.95 gigahertz I cannot go any higher I mean I might if I throw even more core voltage on it but I really don't want to go um, over the um, AMD recommendation so what I ended up doing is I set it to the very highest one and then I mean not the very highest one the 1.25 volts 1.425 volts I mean and then when that was stable I tried to lower the core voltage voltage but I couldn't do it so how did I achieve these uh, the 1.412 eventually uh, I'm gonna show you okay so in the um, Digi Plus VRM section, you can see the settings here that you ha I have it set to level 1 for load line calibration and 130% current capacity and set the switching frequency to manual and set it to 400 and also set the power duty control to... Um, extreme and you might wonder why would I want to set that to extreme well there's some pretty beefy uh, heat sinks on the VRMs and what extreme basically does is it allows each of the faces to work regardless of temperature so you're gonna get a much more stable uh, voltage supply to your CPU and like I said there's some beefy heat sinks on it so it doesn't really matter uh, the power phase control though can be left optimized, that's fine. Um, 
the SOC current capacity should be set to 130%. Um, percent. And then you also have the SOC switching frequency, which uh, is set to 400. Hold on. Yeah, sorry. You can see it's set to 400. Um, and then it uh, the SOC power phase control is set to optimized. And these settings, there has been a lot of tinkering um, before I came to them, but, but but this is as high as my system will go uh, with the lowest possible voltage. And I know people are probably having better luck with their own chipsets, but for me, this this is how high um, I can possibly go. And I also know heat is not an issue. Um, with the Kraken S X62 here. I'm never hitting above 67 or usually not even above 65 degrees on the processor even after really heavy stress testing. So if um, you are thinking that it's probably a heat issue, it is not. I have tried uh, getting higher with the fans running like at 100%, it, it, it doesn't matter, this is as high as this chips that my specific processor will go um, so let me know how far have you gotten in your overclocking um, you can type that in the comments yeah and also like and subscribe if you would like to see more bye